If I may most respectfully ask you, I'm question, putting a question to you. Why are you here? This is a serious question, as you have put to the speaker several other questions. Why each one of us is here in this not too nice a weather? Windy, and I hope one hopes that you are comfortably seated. But why? Not that you are not seated comfortably, <laughs> but why are we all here? Is it out of curiosity? Nothing better to do? I'm asking these questions most respectfully, not in any sense of impudence. Are we here to be stimulated, to be challenged, to have more energy? or release energy, or merely intellectual flirtation, a good word. <laughs> or romantically, sentimentally, or some kind of help, wanting to be helped by another. If one put all these questions to oneself, what would be our answer? You might just as well ask the speaker why he is talking. Is it a habit? Is it he feels happy facing an audience, fulfilling, and that he needs an audience? All these questions must not only put to oneself but also to the speaker. And if we explore into that why we are doing what we are doing, with all this trouble, travail, and the anxiety and fear of all life, And if one doesn't find an answer, why the speaker is going on the various continents talking for the last 60, 70 years, is it a habit to him? He has tested it out, kept quiet for a year and more. And also, at one time, he talked behind a curtain <laughs> to the audience, and he felt rather silly. <laughs> and so, he went before the audience. <laughs> he has tested this out very carefully, whether he depends on or another to fulfil, to be, to become, to feel famous, all that nonsense. Why, in his return, 
He's asking you, if you may respectfully, why we are all here. Is it old age? Because we have nothing else better to do. Is it that we really deeply want to understand ourselves? Is only acting as a mirror in which each one of us can see ourselves as we are. Not be depressed or elated to discover what we are. Is it that mirror, clear, sharp, every feature of it is so, there is without any distortion. And if, you, if that mirror is clear and you see oneself exactly as one is, then the mirror is not important. You can break the mirror without feeling any lack of luck. <laughs> and if we can answer that question, it's rather serious. Why we behave as we do, as each one of us does, why we think in certain patterns, Why we follow somebody, <coughs> the crazier the better. Why we store up all the things that one has said, that others have said. <coughs> Why there is nothing in ourselves that is ourselves. And to discover what we are, that ourselves, what deep-rooted seed, not only the cultural seed, the traditional, the religious, all the outgrowth of all that, but go very, very, very deeply in oneself. to find out the origin of all things, not the cells and all that, not the genes that one has inherited, but much beyond all that. Shall we go into that a little bit? <laughs> what is the origin? Not the biological and evolutionary process, the origin of all things. <coughs> 
this demands or asks, what is the creation? What is creation? Who created all this? The marvellous uni universe, everything living in, in it and out of it. <coughs> What's the origin of all that? You want to go into all that? Yes. Sure? Why? <laughs> As an amusement? A form of entertainment? Something new? I'm afraid it's not anything like that. Our brains have extraordinary capacity, extraordinary, not ordinary, but beyond all ordinary things. When one observes all the technological world, what they have done and what they are doing and what they are going to do, Tremendous advancement. The brain has this capacity. The computer is going to take over more and more. All our activity, more or less, except sex. And Probably it can't look at the stars of an evening. <coughs> but it's going to take over all our activity. It may bring about a new industry, new way of living. Without electricity, it may depend on light. They are having great competition in America and Japan, tremendous competition. And we'll all be slaves to that God. The computer. So we are saying the brain has an extraordinary capacity. But that brain has been restricted narrowed down by our education, by our self-interest. I know you will hear all this, but you will do nothing about it. That's all right too. And that very brain, which has evolved for centuries, millions, that brain has become what it is now. Old, tired, with a lot of trouble, conflicts and misery. <coughs> that brain, which is the centre of all our existence, all our being, which is the future and the past, we went into it the other day. And this brain wants to find out what is beyond all this, what is the origin, the source, the beginning. Can it ever find out? Do you understand my question? Can it ever find out what what is the source, the light, the beginning of all creation, of all things? Not only ourselves, but the tiger, the marvellous trees, 
Have you ever been very close to a wild tiger? No. We have been very close, almost touching it. Wild. And who brought all this about? The exhausted, exhaustible, inexhaustible nature. And the rivers, the mountains, the trees, the plants, the groves, the orchards, and us. How will you find out? Please ask this question of ourselves. How will you, ordinary human beings like us, find out something with science, biology, and bio something or other? And the People who are digging into the earth, finding new cities. How will you find out? By following somebody? By making some gurus inexhaustibly rich? How will you go into this? That's my question to you. Who will answer it? Are you waiting for the speaker to answer it? Or invent a new God? Will say that he created it. That invention, that imagination is still part of the brain. So how will you find out? May I leave you with that question? What, you, what will you give to it? Give in the sense your energy, your capacity, your enthusiasm, your passion, your whole time to find out. Or will you treat it like something, oh, I'm too busy today, I'll think about it tomorrow. Or is an Question to put to the old, not to the young generation. We are too young to think about all that. But how much energy will you give to it? Not seeking energy or releasing it, that's all to child. May I go on with these questions? <laughs>